My 11 year old daughter, her name is Sophia. Um, she is one of the most vibrant and self-assured middle schoolers you will ever meet. I think she's pretty well-rounded, you know, musically and athletically and academically, she's doing really well. My name is Katherine Oliver. I am currently an assistant professor at Emory University in the Department of Pediatrics, and uh, my research is focused on cystic fibrosis, specifically uh, CFTR biology, but uh, I also have the pleasure of serving as mother to a now 11-year-old living with cystic fibrosis. Receiving the initial call that my daughter's newborn screen had come back positive for cystic fibrosis was just an utter physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual collapse. Her initial newborn screen sample showed that she had a high level of an enzyme called immunoreactive trypsinogen. Um, that enzyme is really elevated in people with CF, and so because of that, um, you know, we were eventually referred for a diagnostic testing for CF. The issue, however, was that there wasn't a lot of uh, haste or urgency placed on getting those diagnostic tests done. Primary reason for that, it boiled down to that my daughter is multiracial. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the medical staff at the time told us that cystic fibrosis might not be such a concern because she was not completely white or Caucasian. You know, my daughter started on the most recent FDA approved triple combination therapy for CF. Um, and she did, Upon initiating that treatment, it was not well tolerated, and so it was decided to bring her from the full dose down to the half dose. And uh, after a few weeks of being on that, you know, she was able to tolerate being on that half dose. But uh, th that's not the case for everyone. There are some people who can't tolerate the half dose and others who um, can't tolerate it at all. But I think, you know, this also speaks to a, a larger uh, you know, consideration, which is that cystic fibrosis is not uh, a, a one-size-fits-all condition, nor are the, the um, medical interventions for people living with CF a, a one-size-fits-all approach. You know, Emily's entourage is focusing on um, the rare variants that are not covered by modulators, and that's what my own research is focused on too. That, and, and it's from a, a personal stance um, that I, I want every family every parent, every child, every every adult living with CF, um, that they all have the same benefits and that they all have the same hope and um, that we, we just absolutely can't leave anyone behind. It's without uh, hesitation or question, we, we definitely have to support Emily's entourage in their efforts.